Welcome to my channel, Canny Gaming. My name's Mark. This is episode 9 of Rania Skaya, the city on the hill. The city that had been dying, we appear to have brought it back to life again and solved most of the problems. Uh, we've looked at nearly every system going in this game, heating, sewage, water, um, transport systems, etc, etc. And we finished off episode 8 looking at the unemployment in the city and we decided that we needed to give people jobs we need to create more jobs in the city for the the people that we have and what we're going to do today is we're going to build our first industry i deleted up here a couple of uh, um other little apartment blocks and you see that there is uh, an area there between the secret police and the the power plant. I'm just going to delete those little bits of road that are poking out there. And I'm going to build a distillery. And a distillery just fits in quite nice in that gap. Uh, it, we could we could put a we could put a food factory, uh, but. Uh, it doesn't fit. It, it, it's a much wider building. It doesn't fit there. But, uh, you know, the distillery fits quite well in that gap. Now, I need to arrange this. I, because most of the time I've been doing this with time lapse, I, I, I've never discussed with things like that. You can flip these round and you can use the R key to turn 90 degrees, R key to turn another 90 degrees, or you can use your, your, your mouse uh, button. Uh, so the mouse wheel to, to, to just turn it a couple of degrees at a time. You can turn it like that and position it. Um, you know, you can you can turn it a full 90 degrees. And you can use the T key to flip it, to mirror it uh, a completely different direction. So I, I, I don't want to flip it. Uh, and the reason being is there's got factory connections. And I want the factory connection to come out to the left, not to the secret police. Um, it's it's a waste of a factory connection if it comes in this direction towards the secret police. So I'm going to flip that back, and then I'm going to 90 degree turn, 90 degree turn with the R key, and I'm going to put it in there. Now I can't put it a little closer to the. Yeah, I can. I can put it a bit closer to the secret police. The the road does this funny thing where it sort of drags across and. Um, you know turns at more than 90 degrees and the reason it's doing that and it's not just snapping to a, a another node a little bit further down the road is because there's two footpaths coming from the bus stop so it's forced that the only place it can connect the road to is in the gap in the middle of between the two footpaths that actually looks fine but but I want to leave a bit of space between the, 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 the distillery and the power plant. So I'm going to just put it as close as I can get it to the secret police. And that's absolutely fine. Now, why do, why do I want to do that? That I've got a, a, a factory connection uh, coming out. And it's so that I can put a, a, a road a cargo station in. And these are on the road menu. Um, so it is this menu now there is a vanilla one <laughs> look at the size of that it's quite a big building and it, it's cool but you get the effect of this it, it's connected to the road in front of us and you can connect you see the green with the um the the factory connections uh, it, it auto joins when when it's in the right sort of position but th this won't this won't build because you know it's, it's red at the minute and you get the the message saying cannot build due to infrastructure and in fact the infrastructure is we we overlapping right over into the uh, into the power plant here but i've got a cool little mod and that mod gives us a road cargo station which is really small and fits in all of these little tiny gaps and uh, uh you see i i actually need to flip that round because i need the um i need the road bit to to, to be connect the road and then the factory connection and that just goes in quite nicely there. 
let these two build what I want to do is I want to say oh, I can't I can't do it while it's building uh, but let me just remember as soon as it finishes building what I want to do so the the road cargo bit is is completed there and there it goes up with the there there we go uh, with all the lights on it's it it's uh, it's dark at the minute and uh, the lights are on that that looks pretty cool in the dark I'm um, and so the, what the road cargo uh, little area does you know it's not not very big and it, it's not going to take many lorries but it allows us an extra couple of parking spaces that that then allow us to load and unload things from this factory uh, so so that's uh, that's very useful uh, in these situations um, I you know you, now obviously like many of these other buildings there is actually two parking spaces here right inside of the uh, the factory area that, that is part of the the factory that we've built uh, that are already built so so we basically have um, boosted this up to four parking spaces so um, that's that's what I want to do now what I want to do is this allows a hundred workers I don't believe I've got a hundred workers and uh, I've got nothing for them to do so I'm gonna say I uh, no workers now I'm I, I, I'll change that of course I'm gonna come back and change that very soon uh, I don't worry about that but but I've got to address that, that there's, a, there's a couple of issues here so the first thing is there's no resources a distillery needs crops I uh, by the way, I, I, I'm I'm doing this as well because uh, the original city, you know, I mentioned a couple of episodes ago, um, had no industry. You know, the people could go and work at the the power plant and the heating plant, but but no industry that produces anything really. Um, you know, it produces heating, but um, this is our first industry. We, we need to establish something we need to to give people jobs but uh but we also need to, to actually produce something and use that in some way so that's what i'm going to do now so it tells us the um that we've got a problem with the drinking water and this isn't just the the bit mourning about the 95 percent that the the citizens are doing in their apartment buildings uh you know the the, the bit that we, we, we don't Fully understand why they're complaining about the 95 percent a distillery must have a uh, better water than 90 um well there there's a message there saying required water quality 95 percent and i think we're providing 95 percent what, what what again why is it not doing this you know what it, it could be to me is this could be a rounding issue it could be that in fact uh, in the background the game has a figure where it knows it's something like 94.9 but it is displaying it at 95 and yet because it's just below 95 percent it's causing all of the citizens to mourn and uh, and this building to mourn so so how can i deal with that um I've got a road depot. Have I got one here? Yes, I do. Yeah, there's a road depot here. So I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to buy a a water a water truck. There's a water truck, and I'm going to establish a line. Uh, this I don't think this works with a distribution office. You can't do this this trick. Um, I'm going to send the water truck to the customs office. It's a water truck so it knows that the only thing it can load there is is water and it, it you don't really need to tell it to wait until loaded it will do that anyway the customs office and then i'm going to come down to the distillery and i'm going to unload water and here i definitely need to tell it wait until i unload it i, I need to then launch this so that it will follow the instructions to I, I follow the line um, now I've given the instructions on the truck rather than on the line and you see 
this automatically creates a line for us and I can I can name this if I want to do and I may as well I'm going to call it um, a distillery water supply save that And we just follow the the water truck for a little bit. It's going on fast, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. Where where are you going? Where are you going? You going? Are you going to a? Are you going to a gas station? And there's a gas station up the up the hill near towards the customs office. I wonder if that gas station doesn't have fuel in it. Yeah, you, you, he's going down to the. The gas station near the swimming pool. Oh wow! I'm, 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 I'm not going to follow you because I'm going to scoot up the hill as quick as I can and see what's going on with this gas station. There's a gas station there. Have you got fuel? Yeah, you have. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa. Right, okay, I, I noticed that yeah, gas stations must have power. Many of the buildings, most of the buildings do, of course, um, but a gas station won't allow uh, the pumping of the, the fuel into a vehicle without power. Uh, and this doesn't have power. So you've got no power substation within range. Wow. So when I plonked it down, I've not really looked at the fact that uh, we didn't have a, a yellow line connecting it to um, anywhere. So we've we got, we got a place where I could connect it into over here. Yeah, we do. Right, okay. Let me just run a, run a cable up here. Side of that road and I'll just drop a drop a substation in here this is a bit of a way we, where, where, where we're not uh, using the construction office uh, it, it, it's cool using the construction offices it's it's a, one of the really good features of this game I think uh, but it's it's also nice to sometimes go back to this where you can just say ah, I want that built and it's built there you go it's built there's a power substation and of course that is uh, perfectly in range of the gas station and that's working now and now the vehicles will realize you know that the, they would know before that there was fuel here but they'd also know that when they got there they, they couldn't actually uh, use the gas station so they would just ignore this uh, they start they'll start using it now yep we all make mistakes this is uh, uh, often the case it's uh, to get this right uh, it is difficult so uh where's me where's oh there's me water uh so there's me water truck he's just been up to the customs office and there he is he's nearly full he's got 99.9 .9, sorry 9.9 .9 cubic meters of water uh, nearly full and where's he going he should be going to the the distillery and so he is going out I, I told him to go to the distillery so of course he comes and parks at one of the two uh, parking spaces inside of the distillery grounds uh, and that's cool and he's actually off already he's unloaded all of his water and here we've got the internal water tank it doesn't tell us how much water is in there i don't think But we no longer have a message about the quality of the water. And why do we not have a message about the quality of the water? When the water is delivered from the customs, it comes at 100%. Right, so if you ever need a really good quality water and your city, your normal water uh, production is not uh, high enough, uh, the way around that is just to use a water truck get it from the customs customs 
always gives you 100% water. So that shows the water quality 99%. And I think that is because we've gone and dumped in 10 cubic meters of water that was 100% and it's mixed up with um, a couple of cubic meters of water that was 95 percent so the uh, the result is that uh, is 99 percent and and what we sh should get is the more deliveries come from the truck the the better that quality will be anyway that that solved our problem now that the distillery will function now uh, because it's now getting good enough quality water and all we had to do was buy a truck we're buying this water by the way we, we haven't to pay for this water but hell we're paying for everything else from the customs office and she gonna we're gonna run out of money of course <laughs> we we are paying money to build things and we are buying things all the time food meat clothes uh, electronics we're buying it all from the customs house uh, and we need to start producing some of this ourselves so um when when he makes his next delivery he won't just dump it into the internal tank because that internal tank will already have water in it so he might sit around there for 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 a while as his water unloads so he'll be occupying that spot now what i what i want to need to do is i need to uh, i want to build from the road menu a no it's not on the road menu it's on the general cargo menu I want to build a distribution office so we've got one distribution distribution office that's been do, it's been doing everything for us and um it's it's probably getting up to capacity and we, we would be taking a, a hell of a risk to use it uh, for what I want to do now because it, it is quite far away from the distillery uh, and I don't think you should mix uh, these functions of using a, a distribution office to deliver and pick up from industries when that distribution office has a job to do picking up and delivering to shops. Uh, it, it's only got two covered holes anyway uh, in the distribution office and they need to be dedicated just to delivering food and meat to the uh, and, and clothes and things to the shops. So I'm going to just build a medium distribution office and it fits in uh, it'll fit in here in the corner um, actually I've got I think I've got a I think I've got a, a mod from yeah, there's a medium one here from from Novo and that that has uh, that has this nice feature it has uh, 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 two roads that it can connect to the corner uh, and uh, uh, more buildings it, it it looks quite a, a nice building um and allows eight trucks i think and let that build so again i'm not using the construction office but i i need to have this built as quickly as possible i'm not in time lapse as well especially uh but some of these buildings still take a, a few seconds so now i've got a distribution office and i want to to um well i could buy some trucks but if you remember uh we had loads of trucks that weren't really doing anything when i took over the city so i just sent them off to the depot so if i open that depot look i've got a couple of covered uh, uh, holes here and i'm going to send them to you know I, I wonder what these were doing originally oh I, I i can see what they were doing because look they've actually got on board chemicals and these were the, the there was five covered holes all sitting at the water treatment plant and they were full of chemicals and since then we had just one um well I, there's two at the distribution office but those distribute those ones at the distribution office have lots more responsibilities than just delivering chemicals to the water treatment uh they the, you know they're the ones that are delivering to the shops so i'm going to send these covered holes up to this distribution office uh, you should go as well I did give you an instruction yes you've gone they'll they'll arrive there soon so why have I, why have I got a distribution office here well um, what I want to do is I want to give this an instruction oh and it's going to be a bit confused because the lorries haven't yet arrived once the lorries have arrived it will know that what's in here are covered holes there they, there they are 
Right, okay, I'm just gonna pause. There we go, we've got all the snow. Um, and I'm gonna add a new connection to the customs office. And I don't wanna unload at the customs office, I want to load. So I want you to go and load crops at the customs office. And then I want you to deliver them uh, to here and not to the factory itself. I want you to deliver to the little road cargo unloading area that we've we've built next to it. And no, I don't want you to load there. I want you to unload. Uh, so I want you to fill this up to 60%, I think should be good enough. Let me just uh, look at the, the distrill read, remind myself how much crops can it take. It can take 64 tons of crops. It's, it's got a little internal warehouse, 64 tons of crops. So this is giving an instruction to the distribution office to fill that up to around about uh, 35, 37 or so um, tons. Um, that's more than adequate. We could probably get away with a lot less than that actually. Uh, but yeah, let's let's do that. Unpause and immediately let's, uh, those two lorries. Yeah, there's one and there's the other one. That the the they're off to the customs house to pick up crops and deliver it to the distillery. And they should be back soon. So we've now got um, a, a distribution office bringing crops here and we've got a, a water truck delivering good quality water here. So we've actually going to have everything we need except workers. We've, we've told it not to bring workers here. So I'm gonna increase that and I'm gonna say, yeah, I'm gonna allow 10 workers so I think the next bus that delivers, we should get some workers going into this building. There's a bus there. Do we get people who go into this building? Yes. Yes, and you saw that we still got plenty of people went into the power plant. And I think some of the educated workers, yep, went into the secret police. And yeah, we've got 10 people there. No, we we've got more. So they were still on their way into the into the into the building. Um, so it doesn't immediately appear that they were taking workers away from the other buildings. I remember we we saw that we we were often having people uh, who got to this bus stop and had no way to go, so they just stayed on the bus. You've got forty nine workers on the bus. Somebody's gone to the secret police. Nobody's gone into the distillery, I don't think. I don't didn't see them, but they went into the power plant. And that's because we've got 10 out of 10 people here already. And um, while I've been speaking, uh, at least one of the lorries has come and dropped off crops. I think two of them must have done. Uh, and we were watching the, the buses. But this is the reason why, I, why I've done this uh, little road cargo thing give them more drop-off spots as you see one of our spots is f is occupied by the water truck so th that's why I've, why we've now got four trucks sorry for um pick up and drop off points and um if we needed more trucks to to deliver here um we might have to replace this two slot road cargo the little mod with with it with a bigger one that would allow three four uh, drop off spots and i think i might even have i think i might even have a some mods that do that um i i actually have yeah i've got what there's only one vanilla for these by the way and i've got a couple of of mods that i've different sizes I still would tr I wouldn't fit them in 
next to the power plant so the power plants just we just don't have enough room um and you know I, that would might make me think that i'd have to put the distillery somewhere else but i i like the idea of putting the distillery uh, close to the the bus stop where we're bringing workers already and you saw we've had some more people gone in to start the shift here in the in the um in the, the distillery i uh, have still got four people there and those those people that have, have been working they've had crops to work on they've had water and now you see we've actually got some alcohol there and alcohol is being produced unemployment rate in the city is 13 14 well, I saw it go up to 15% as well, just fraction of a second. Um, and, you know, we can monitor this and control the amount of people who are working here. Um, but it does appear to me that uh, every time we have a bus that leaves this bus station, this bus stop with workers on it, then those workers could go to work in the distillery so let me see if this bus what does this bus do is this there it's pulling in and yeah, look 47 people have stayed on that bus that that seems to imply that we could we could up the uh, distillery by uh, to about 50 workers and and not cause a, a major problem with the other buildings here um, I'm going to make it um, 20, 30, uh, uh, see how that goes. We are now getting a regular delivery of crops. Um, uh, the, actually, the crops has filled up what we need. The distribution office has brought it up to 44 uh, tons of crops already. Uh, so the more workers we've got here, the more we're going to burn our way through those crops. We're going to use those crops up quite quickly, and therefore we'll need frequent deliveries but we've got two covered holes that are in a distribution office it's the only job they have to do if they have to go back and forward delivering crops all the time it's no problem um, so that has given us somewhere where we can send people to work uh, uh, we don't um, that's reducing yeah look what well, unemployment rate now has dropped to to nine percent and i've just seen a lot of people gone in look we've got 30 workers have we still got plenty of people at the power plant yeah we got 20. have we still got people at the heating plant yeah we've got 24 25 yeah this so this this is the this is the point we we had uh, plenty of people in our city uh, who could go to work we need to make use of them so I don't understand this idea of uh, deliberately having 10, 20% of your people unemployed. You can um, build places for them to work, give them jobs and get them doing things. And what are they doing? They're producing alcohol. Now we've got two choices with this alcohol. We could, we could build a pub, we could deliver this to a pub in our city uh, that would improve our happiness it would also cause um, more people to become alcoholics and that would actually cause health problems so you, you, you it, it's not a straightforward win-win situation I uh, produce alcohol give it to people no there's there's a, there's, there's a health effect and, and in fact the alcoholics uh, are a pain in the in the backside because they want alcohol every single day and um you know i i think you can get to the situation where they won't go to work because they want alcohol um but anyway that that it, it is always a minority of your population uh, but you you can function perfectly well without giving your citizens alcohol uh, but if you want an easy hit on the happiness, that's the way to do it. So we could build a pub in the middle of the city, deliver the alcohol here. We're producing it ourselves. Uh, we're buying the crops from the, the warehouse, from the customs house. Um, so we're spending money doing that. And, you know, we're not a capitalist economy. We would not be selling the alcohol to our citizens. 
we'd be just giving them it uh, so so we get nothing in return so what I'm going to do is, no, 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 no. I, I, the, 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 the original person who set up this city decided not to have a pub. I'm not going to change that. Uh, in fact, I've run often run my own uh, republics without a pub either. Uh, I, I, I don't have a problem with that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, uh, at the road cargo station, load the alcohol and unload the alcohol at the customs house and in this case alcohol i want to load at when there is more than 20 percent alcohol yeah you can go and pick that up now is this lorry are you picking up alcohol you are you are so let me Play that G take the interface off so he's picked up alcohol uh, I do need the interface on because I need to see that yes he has picked up 6.5 tons of alcohol and he's going to go to customs house and we are not a capitalist economy but we can sell things at the customs house so for the first time it's a little bit of traffic jam there by the way that's a little bit of an issue we we've put them back to the situation where we've got more trucks now uh, coming to the customs house with the crops and the alcohol so he's dropping off alcohol there we're selling it and we're making money now we're not making much money but it's something it's starting to offset the fact that we are oh and he's used the new uh the gas station that didn't have power up until recently he's filled up uh with with gas uh that's cool well, where are you going you're going back to the distribution office yeah you'll go back to the distribution office and he'll probably go out again and go and get some more alcohol or deliver some crops fairly soon um so this is then generating some money in the city um, and let me just show you on the economy so export of resources we've delivered six tons of alcohol we've sold it for uh, 1850 rubles it's not a huge amount but the more trucks we we send alcohol to the border with the more money we'll make and look there's the import of resources so in the same period that we have sold 1850 rubles of alcohol we have already imported 10,000 rubles we need to do an awful lot more exporting to offset what we're importing what are we importing some chemicals uh, food a couple of thousand uh, uh, rubles worth of food we were importing coal that's the coal that's going to the uh, the heating plant and the, the power plant uh, meat uh, we are paying for all of our electricity oh sorry not all of our electricity we're paying for some electricity uh, our power plant should be creating some and and of course we're delivering uh, we're buying crops in to convert them into alcohol but um, so in fact uh, this is this is not pure profit in reality uh, and we've even had to pay for for water so that that, that water truck uh, has cost us uh, 317 rubles of buying water and then we've also paid 964 rubles for to buy crops so in total we've spent nearly 1300 um in buying stuff for the distillery but then we have oh that's cool we've made a we've made more deliveries now we have sold 2900 worth of alcohol so we've made a profit of around about 1600 rubles already that's not that's not bad that's not bad 
and let me just see you know we go back down the hill we've got still more capacity we could put in here we've got 13 workers there 10 workers so that's not full so that suggests that we're not going to get many more coming on the buses i could be wrong oh there's a lot of people there's a lot of people just got, got off and has that bus still got people on it wow you have still got four people on there um still it's 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 doing a nice little job and uh we we could uh we could build on this i'm gonna break the video there i think we've made a good start uh we don't probably have enough time to really develop the industry here so i think we may as well just put that into a, a further episode episode 10 come back and uh, develop the industries further so uh, i look forward to you joining me there don't forget to like comment and subscribe welcome uh, any comments that you have any uh, thing where you think i've got something wrong or i've made a mistake just put them in the in the comments on youtube and, and i'm happy to uh, read them and uh, respond to you if you have any questions or uh, issues that's great so my channel's canny gaming my name's mark and i'm out of here